Hello guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to go ahead and fix a directional on our van. So let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing to do in order to do this is obviously open the trunk so you can gain access to the light. There's two screws here, one here, and one here that we're going to have to go ahead and remove. On this vehicle, they happen to be a star bit, so we grab the right star. We're going to go ahead and do it. Just going to remove them. Make sure you get the proper bulb for your vehicle. Where this is a 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan. The bulb is a 3157, so we're going to go ahead and put that one in. Now that we have the two screws loose, we should be able to just pull this right off. Just like that. I'm going to turn it. The directional that we're fixing is in this one here. So we're just going to turn it down and pop it right off. To ensure the, the life of this bulb, the new one, I'm going to go ahead and put on a pair of gloves so that my oils don't get on the bulb. If they do, for some reason it can lessen the uh, amount of time these are good for. So again, we're just going to pull it off, just wiggle the bulb out, take the new bulb, slide it in. Starting from the bottom position, turn it up, put it back in place, I'm just going to check it before I put it back together. You can see it works now. What I wanted to show you here guys, when you're putting it back together, There's two holes, one here and one right here that you want to line up. So with those two holes, you want to line up these two pins. This one right here and this one down here. We're just going to line those up. Once you, once you have those pins lined up, you just go ahead and give it a push on. Grab your bolts and put them back in place. So now with those two holes lined up in the back, we're just going to go ahead and put these in. Now, with this vehicle, it's easier to do the top screw first and then do the bottom one. And that's because the bottom one has an elongated or an oval shaped hole. And you just want to go ahead and snug these down. You really do not need to tighten these so tight that it's hard to get them off again. Just snug them up and you're good. That's good. And that's good. Alright. You really don't want to crank those down. One, you could break the plastic. Um, but two, just next time you get to remove the ball, but it'll be that much easier. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Remember to click that subscribe button. Bye.